had good examples of what great teachers were. So that's what I always wanted to do. What do you guys think is gonna be the measurement for our bottom? Kimona? Yes. My dad, he wanted my brother and I to have a good, solid education. He transferred to, you know, the States. In Puerto Rico, we say the States. And we didn't know any English. So every Saturday for six months, we had private tutoring. My parents would take us to the library to make sure that we were getting books in English. Um, so we would be able to make those connections and, and learn faster. But financially, I didn't have the means to um, go to college, so after I got my AA in education secondary, I got a job as a substitute because I was there almost every day. They offered me the job as a teacher assistant, instructional assistant. They, they kept encouraging me. It's like, Lisa, you need to go back to school. You need to go back. And I finally um, decided, you know what, I, I, I need to do something. Um, whether it's with student loans or scholarships, I need to do something. And I started to research online um, colleges that I could actually do and not have to stop working and that was my biggest thing I needed to work and I found it and um, it was Western Governors the first one that came up I was like wow this is what I'm really looking for so let's review a little bit trapezoid area formula English is not my first language that was a little bit of a challenge for me sometimes I wanted an instructor in front of me but that's where the course mentors came in I was very blessed in my years at WGU um, to have very supportive mentors. She was there whenever I needed that support, um, whenever I didn't understand something, you know, I would email her right away. You can also work at your own pace. If I finished the class, then I could start the next one. That was great, because you know, if you're done, you might as well just keep going. Thank you guys, I will see you on Monday. Good job today. As teachers, we are continuously learning. And I feel that having a good, solid um, education to continue that and resources for that is very important. With WGU, I felt I, I had that. The education is good. The information you get is good. The flexibility is amazing. You always have that support phone call away. It prepared me for where I am today. And when I, I got that diploma in the mail, oh, it, was, it was the best feeling ever. And to get a job, I was hired before I actually got my diploma in the mail. I am a sixth grade math teacher at Edgewood Middle School. As an employer, I'm grateful. The reality of what school is all about, learning all the time, lifelong learning. She's not only living it, she's promoting it. And day by day, you can see that evolution happening. As an online learner herself, will she be able to inspire other students to learn in unique ways beyond the classroom? For sure. And see if you can give me the area of triangle MPN. But you just got to remember, they're giving you the measurement from here to here. When I'm in the classroom, I'm thinking kids. I'm thinking, hey, this kid may not be comfortable with math, may hate math. And I, I actually had the first day of school, I tell them, everybody will be telling me I hate math. Gets it out of their system, they feel more comfortable, and that's my goal. I don't want kids to feel like math is this huge monster. Teacher of the Year is something that Hartford County Public Schools does um, to um, sort of reward and recognize those the hard work that Hartford County Public School teachers put into their job. And um, I was chosen for my school. I, I felt very appreciated, and my kids, even students that I've never taught, they will pass the hall by me in the hallway and be like, oh, Ms. Bermudez, you know, we're so proud of you, and it, it means a lot. Recently, Lisa Marie was the a finalist for Harvard County's Teacher of the Year. Uh, one of the things that made her an outstanding candidate for me was her own personal story. She decided, I think I can really change kids' lives, uh, and she decided I'm gonna go get certified as a teacher. Through the challenges, I think she recognizes that there was so much to learn but so much potential in every single kid. The letters that I got from the kids um, telling me how much they, they hated math, and by June they came out loving math, that means a lot to me. And for my parents, knowing that their goal of coming to the United States for my brother and I to get a solid education was coming true, it was an immense joy for them. That's a good feeling.